Hi, I'm Stuart, and welcome to Sonnet Television. Well, actually, Chris isn't here, so I get a chance to put my feet up. He's actually downstairs in the lower section of the studio taking a look at a 2100 series TR light bar from Co3, and Chris is going to show us a little bit of programming. Thank you, Stuart. From Code 3, here is an example of one of their LED overhead light bars. It's put together to be a very user-friendly product, starting with simple, removable polycarbonate domes, allowing you access to the various internals. So here is the main circuit board, an accessory board, and all of the harnesses tying into this. Code 3 has done a beautiful job in arranging this, so it looks absolutely perfect within the light bar's frame. But more importantly, everything is a quick disconnect. So so within the field, should you ever need to do anything with your light bar, servicing out modules, making changes, making rearrangements, it is all plug and play. So nothing has to be cut, nothing has to be resoldered. So a thumbs up for Code 3 on that one. When it comes to this light bar, it is put together with two wiring harnesses. Harness one, your main lead and ground. That ties to your vehicle's battery. Harness number two, that is a color coordinated multi trigger end. So with each one of those wires corresponding to Code 3's very well laid out and very detailed installation guide, that will show you what each of those colors appropriately does with the light bar to tie that into your siren and lighting control system. The light bar itself has the standard features that we've come to equate with overheads. Takedowns, alleys, flashing abilities of those, rear traffic advisor function in a three wire, so one, left, two, right, the two in conjunction, center out mode. The other thing that this light bar introduces through the front is illumination beyond the takedowns with the multicolor modules offering red, blue, and white that can enhance your vehicle's warning display when running code and further enhancing your work light and scene light abilities by having a colored trigger here tying into your vehicle's controller, a select button, and full illumination beyond the takedowns and the left and right independent controlled alley. Before I demonstrate how we'll make some changes to the front of the light bar for scene light and work light mode, I'll go ahead and show you now some of the various trigger wires, what these will do for activating the light bar. So again, here is one going with the traffic director on the back. To tie in to more function, traffic advisor displaying to the other direction, and again with those together, that's your center out display. You have a trigger wire that can be programmed to your choosing, but also, importantly, trigger wires for illumination. So there is your takedown set, both of them, steady burn, and front facing only through the corners and the multicolor inboards, the vibrance of red, blue, and white flashing away. Go ahead, put power to a couple other triggers here, showing you another example of warning mode here, tying in the multicolor centered modules. So with Code 3 and their multi-color format and single color format, a great way to really customize your overhead, letting you take advantage of what you, the end user, really need. So on the front of the light bar, what we're gonna do is take a trigger wire, and this is the green with white. Right out of the box, it is a front cutout. So if you simply needed to hit a button, disengage the whole front of the light bar and its warning scheme, easy enough to do. But not everybody's gonna take advantage of that with a cutout. Most folks do that with your vehicle's slide switch. So kicking down from position three, two to one to adjust the bar. So what we are gonna do here with that green with white put to a positive 12 volts is by making another positive 12 volt adjustment to the black with red trigger, so that's the light bar's programmer, we can go ahead and latch it in so the front set modules you see now are steady burning in white. By continuing that process, we can switch that over so it is a different set of modules. So here, doubling up the illumination and the inboards. Another adjustment, further outboards, rounding out the 45 degree of the corners. Another option to be chose from. And for those of you really wanting the full scene light and rounding all the way out to maximizing your vehicle's driver and passenger side forefronts, all the multicolors steady burning in that perfect white for illumination on your vehicle. Again, from there, you can take advantage of further programming with different trigger wires. So we'll go ahead, put power to another. So again, you can have your scene lights and traffic advisor going. But when it comes to this and other programming, go ahead, make a change here. 
So with a warning scheme flashing away, and this is a one trigger wire for the whole 360 of the light bar. So very simple when it comes to tying this in and saving buttons and wires. But again, by taking positive 12 volts, extending that to the program wire, that is going to allow for changing of the flash pattern sequences. So something to be offered for everyone within any department, ranging from amber and white only in that of public works needs, firing away in the vibrance you see here for law enforcement and fire and rescue. So there you have it from us here at sirennet.com and our friends at Code 3, an example of their 52 inch 2100 series TR with multicolor programmability. Just to mess with the camera crew, Chris, of course, has in fact stayed downstairs, which is important sometimes, but very interesting tutorial on that 2100 series TR from Code 3. Of course, the product is available on Sirenet, so why don't you go ahead and check that out? And as always, I'm Stuart. And that's Chris.